Hey everybody, this is Jim. I'm a naturalist at Beaver Creek Reserve, Fall Creek, Wisconsin. I'm going to talk to you today about oak wilt. Now we've got an important deadline coming up. Uh, you should not be cutting oak trees from April 1st until the middle of July. If you do, you might have some problems with spreading oak wilt on your property. That's exactly what happened here. I'm in my front yard here uh, in my home uh, in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And uh, a few years ago, my neighbors built this new house over here and they did, decided to uh, cut the trees around their property in the uh, early spring, which uh, caused oak wilt to be introduced. Oak wilt is very prevalent in this area. It can spread about uh, easily between tree to tree, maybe up to 47 feet a year between trees because uh, the trees here root graft. They're red oak trees and they root graft. The roots grow together like this, very easy to transmit the disease. It can also be transmitted by little tiny bark beetles that are attracted to the smell of the fungus under the bark on the infected trees. Now I've got two, two different kinds of, of trees and two different kinds of leaves down here. Um, red oak trees with the pointed lobed leaves are more susceptible to oak wilt. The round lobed leaves are uh, from a white oak tree and they are more resistant, but they can still get it. Now what happened here though, look back in the woods the very first one that got it was that tall one back there with no bark on it it spread very quickly by the time I noticed it it had already infected most of these trees here and with a spread of 47 feet per year it's marched from that tree to these trees to last year this tree these two trees right here both of these trees were infected both of them lost all of their leaves last July now there's a telltale sign if you if you don't have just the bark or the leaves dropping from the tree if you look at the bark you might see some cracks in the bark like this this indicates that there's a fungal mat it's an oval fungal mat about this big underneath the bark here and that uh, lets off a smell that attracts those bark beetles so the bark beetles can transfer the fungus from a disease tree to a wound on a new tree and uh, can be infected that way but most of what's happening on my property is that root grafting the transmission of the disease that way now behind you are a couple of trees over here that um, showed no signs of oak wilt last year but they are so close to these two trees right here that i almost guarantee you this um, summer end of july the leaves are going to be dropping from these trees and i'm probably going to lose them too they all, you, just cutting um, oak trees does not solve the problem. If you really want to try to keep it contained so it can't spread by root grafts, you have to trench five feet deep, and you need professional help to do that. But um, at least getting rid of some of the trees that, uh, that are infected, doing some sanitation with firewood, all those things are things that you can do to help spread uh, oak wilt on your property. Take care, everybody.